Hey guys, it's Chris. From a mysterious jelly-like creature washed up on the shore to the footprints of a humongous titan crawling from the depths of the sea, here are 10 of the biggest sea creatures ever found on the beach. Number 10, Giant Squid. It doesn't really get much bigger than a giant squid. These monsters from the extreme depths of our ocean are very elusive, with only a few of them ever being spotted alive, or even dead for that matter. Yet one of them washed ashore on a beach in Wellington, New Zealand, just in time for everyone to get some photos with it. The cephalopod, which measured roughly 13 feet long with all of its tentacles stretched out, was first discovered by a trio of brothers as they were searching for a good spot to go diving. They immediately contacted the National Institute of Water and Atmospheric Research, who then made plans to have the squid properly removed and studied. This is a super rare find, and what's even more impressive is that it's only a baby squid. A true giant adult squid would grow to be way larger. Adults can grow to be over 40 feet in length. The last one that washed ashore in New Zealand was 23 feet long, and that one turned up on a beach back in 2015 in Kaikoura. These monster cephalopods spend most of their time hiding in the deep parts of the ocean, and so nobody is really sure how this newest one ended up on the beach. But nonetheless, it is definitely one of the biggest and most impressive sea creatures ever found washed ashore. Number 9. Giant Jelly Blob This giant jelly monster thing looks like a horrible creature from any kind of science fiction movie. It's absolutely enormous and it's unique, and just like the giant squid, this freaky red jelly was found in New Zealand. It was first stumbled upon by a family minding their own business, walking down the beach. And while even for New Zealand a giant jelly isn't totally out of the ordinary, this one appeared to be breathing or moving. According to the family who stumbled upon it, it was unlike anything they'd ever seen before. The creature was spotted in Pakiri Beach, 55 miles from Auckland. And to be quite honest, the creature kind of looked like a bubbling volcano. It was the same kind of shape as a volcano, and it even had a red center of bubbling liquid at its peak. But according to Fox News, what the family discovered that day on the beach is known as a lion's mane jellyfish. This is because it has a mane of extremely long tentacles that hang from the underside of its body, with each tentacle being divided into eight smaller clusters of up to 150 tentacles each. These thousand-armed jellies are also the biggest jellyfish in the entire world. They can grow to be the same size as a blue whale. With all of its tentacles stretched out, the lion's mane jellyfish can grow to be 190 feet long. It is an absolute giant. As for the enormous jelly on the beach, it's hard to say exactly how long it would have been in the ocean. On land, it just looked like a melted block of jelly. The good news was that the family was smart enough not to play around, or somebody could have gotten a serious shock from one of the jellyfish's toxic tentacles. Have you ever found a jellyfish washed up on the beach? or maybe some other kind of sea creature. Some people have found hermit crabs or other strange little creepy crawly animals. What was your catch the last time you went to the beach? Tell me about it in the comments below, and then make sure you subscribe if you haven't already for more awesome content like this. Number 8. Giant Sunfish All the way across the Pacific from New Zealand is California, where one of the largest, rarest, and ugliest fish ever washed up on a beach in Santa Barbara back in 2019. And it's one thing to find a normal fish somehow beached on land, but the people who stumbled upon a giant 7-foot sunfish must have been particularly alarmed. This fish is longer than you are probably tall. It's also known as the hoodwinker sunfish, and it's supposed to live only in the southern hemisphere. An evolutionary biologist named Thomas Turner from the University of California was so shocked when he heard about the sunfish beached nearby that he went down to the beach with his family to check out the monster for himself. According to Turner, it was the strangest fish he had ever seen up close in his life. This is because the giant hoodwinker sunfish is one weird customer. Rather than having the typical fish shape, this weirdo is formed just like a big circular disc. The hoodwinker sunfish is almost completely flat, too. It also doesn't have a tail. This fish has sharp fins that stick out of its top and bottom, and it flaps them like wings while underwater to move around. Some more marine biologists went down to the beach to collect samples of the stranded animal and to dispose of its body properly. But nobody could figure out how the giant hoodwinker sunfish got all the way from where it's supposed to be living, in the waters around Australia, to California. It was a total mystery. Number 7. Massive Sea Serpent You might have seen a giant oarfish before. 
It's one of the biggest and strangest fish living in the ocean today. It's also one of those special rare fish you can only catch on rainy days in Animal Crossing if you're playing that. And it's also the longest fish in the world. The giant oarfish is the closest thing on Earth to an actual sea serpent. And while they're usually spotted washed up in the Philippines or Japan, one of them recently washed up on a beach near Los Angeles. This thing was so huge that 16 people had to drag it fully onto the shore and then hold it up to take a photograph. The giant oarfish is in fact the inspiration for the ancient sea serpent legend, and in the depths of the ocean they can grow to be even longer than a giant squid. I'm talking 50 feet long and 600 pounds in weight. According to workers at the Catalina Island Marine Institute, this particular oarfish was the discovery of a lifetime. Nobody had ever seen one so big in real life. This is because oarfish typically live around 3,000 feet deep, and that makes sighting the creature about as rare as seeing a giant squid. According to professionals, the animal looked to have died of natural causes. It only measured about 18 feet in length, with the longest specimen ever recorded being 26 feet long. You might also know the giant oarfish under some of its other names. It also goes by King of the Herring, Pacific Oarfish, Streamer Fish, and Ribbon Fish. The first one ever found was in 1772 by a Norwegian biologist. Number 6. Indonesian Sea Beast One of the largest and most disgusting monsters of all time was spotted on a beach washed up in Indonesia. This happened on the shore of the Maluku Islands, and at the time of discovery, the monster was in such a late stage of decomposition that nobody had any idea what it was. Some people speculated that it could have been a giant squid, and others said it was a decomposing whale, and still others said it was a hellish sea monster. Considering this creature was at least 50 feet long, there weren't a whole lot of options. Not that many creatures in the ocean can grow to be that huge. After pictures were posted online and some professionals came into the discussion, it was quickly determined that the corpse turning the water red was a baleen whale. There are 15 different classifications of baleen whale, including the humpback and the blue whale. And because the beast was indeed so rotten, scientists could not identify any more precisely than that. A whale and dolphin conservation charity told the Huffington Post, that after they identified some groove patterns on the carcass, they determined it was probably a blue whale, but that was really just an educated guess. And the reason the corpse didn't look anything like a whale is because the gases from its decomposition caused the carcass to bloat and just kind of fall apart. It may look nasty, but it's just the natural way whales decompose. I mean, sometimes nature's kind of disturbing. Number 5. Hairy Creatures in the Philippines the carcass of a large and unusually hairy sea creature washed up on a beach in the Philippines just recently. And this is one of the stranger things to have ever washed up on a beach, considering with the white hair all over it, the thing kind of looked like an oversized shih tzu. What's really strange is that the monster appeared following a massive 6.7 earthquake in the area, meaning it could have been from deep in the ocean but was belched up during the storm. It was about 15 feet in length and locals were quick to post selfies with the hairy beast all over the internet. And some people quickly pointed out that the thing looked like a soggy version of Falcor from The NeverEnding Story. But realistically, the corpse could belong to a dugong, one of the cooler but less well-known marine animals. Then again, this strange carcass could just be a whale. The Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources were quick to dispose of the animal, so we may never know its true identity. For now, it's being called the Globster, and that seems just fine to me. Number 4. Fanged Beast the fanged beast that washed up on the beach after Hurricane Harvey in Texas might not be the biggest in the world, but it is certainly one of the most terrifying. It looked like a dolphin with no eyes and the teeth of a demon. Somebody found this decaying freak while taking a stroll on a beach in Texas City, and she posted the photos online asking for help in identifying it. An eel expert came forward claiming that the creature was probably a fangtooth snake eel. Fangtooth eels live near Texas and have enormous teeth that look just like fangs. The expert claimed that because of the strong winds and flooding that happened with Hurricane Harvey, the creature was probably pushed out of its natural habitat and thrown onto the beach. This thing usually lives around 300 feet deep in the Atlantic Ocean, so its position on the beach really says something about the strength of the winds. As for the fate of this horrifying monster, it was left on the beach for nature to do its thing. And hopefully no more of these fanged creatures wash up where they have no business being. Number 3. Trash Whale This next story is going to get a little graphic. Everyone knows that the biggest animals on Earth are whales. Specifically, the blue whale is the biggest animal that has ever lived on our planet, and that includes the dinosaurs. 
But the sperm whale is also huge. It's not as big as the blue whale, but it's certainly massive. And recently, a sperm whale washed up on a beach in the Isle of Harris in Western Scotland. While it was no mystery as to the whale's identity, it's what they found inside of the whale that makes this such a horrifying story. The whale was stranded on the beach for two days before employees from the Scottish Marine Animal Stranding Scheme could arrive to do an autopsy and properly bury the animal. Because that's just the kind of thing they do in Scotland. The whale itself was around 45 feet in length. It was also filled with trash. As soon as the workers cut open the stomach of the sperm whale on the beach, its guts exploded outward. Inside the guts of the whale was so much trash that you wouldn't even believe your eyes. Workers found plastic, chunks of net, bundles of rope, tubing, gloves, plastic bags, and much more all bundled in a tight clump in the animal's stomach. It had about 200 pounds of garbage inside of it. The marine worker said that even though the discovery was horrific, it likely wasn't the direct cause of the animal's death. But nonetheless, it's pretty disturbing to think that whales are swimming around in the ocean with hundreds of pounds of rope bundled into their stomachs. We really do litter too much. Number two, half a shark. It's pretty rare to find a whole shark washed up on the beach. It's even more rare to find half a shark washed up on the beach. But that's exactly what happened at New Smyrna Beach in Florida back in 2017. Not only did half a shark find its way onto the sand, but it appeared to have been eaten by something. In fact, it looked like the shark had been chomped in half by a much larger creature. This is shocking considering that the shark was at least five feet long and in pretty good shape. A beach safety spokeswoman told local news that the shark on the beach was likely a black tip or a spinner shark, and that it was probably attacked by something much larger. But I guess we already knew that from all the bite marks. The biggest mystery here is that nobody knows what tried to eat this small shark. It could have been a barracuda, it could have been a larger shark, or it could have been a monster we don't even know about. Number 1. Invisible Giants from the Deep Now, this is a bit of a weird tale, but there is something bizarre going on here. In the United Kingdom, the average man stands about 5 feet 9 inches tall. They also have feet that are around 11 inches. And this is relevant because at a beach in Blackpool, residents were shocked to find enormous footprints leading across the sand as if a giant had walked out of the water. It was as if Poseidon himself had emerged from the sea. The footprints were around 100 feet long each, meaning that the person would have needed to be at least 620 feet tall. Surely no ordinary Englishman could have made these footprints. But in fact, it was just an ordinary guy. The three footsteps were created by a pair of high-speed visual artists named Jed Bryan and Job Hicks. These guys had to quickly create the footprints in the sand before the tide rose and the water came up to erase them. According to the initial report from the Daily Mail, the project only took about four hours to do, but it did create quite the panic among the locals. After all, it's not every day that a nearly 700-foot person walks out of the ocean and into your town and then vanishes. Where would someone that large even go to hide? Which of these terrifying monsters would you like to find washed up on your local beach? Let me know your thoughts about these giant sea creatures in the comments. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay up to date with all of our latest videos. We'll see you again soon.